Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we are gonna be playing some ladder decks once again and uh, frankly the metal reset didn't happen yet so we're gonna have to wait for it for a, a little bit. I think that's not a big issue since I still have some content to record and today we're gonna be playing with a surprisingly effective deck with a balloon which I didn't expect that would work out. Also this balloon will get a very very fast skip and that's gonna be our first damage into the game. Very cool. Anyway, we're gonna be playing balloon deck because many players are just running viking on ladder and um, yeah, I was uh, just searching for a good counter deck to that and it appears that this balloon deck first really really well against vikings so that's why we're gonna be playing it today i don't think this poison actually kills a gunner but i may be wrong okay yeah it absolutely kills i'm gonna actually get a kill on this bomb girl i don't think it was a best plan but at least the bomb girl won't be harassing me anytime soon so yeah fabulous i think if i were to be faster on that kill this would have gotten a death drop but yeah it doesn't really matter also we're gonna be flawlessly countering this fawn cake just for banter i think fawns would have been perfectly enough but since i had mana why not let's go for another balloon just annoy my opponent as much as it's humanly possible right now he should be playing fawn horde at some point okay he's playing bomb girls so that's gonna be his choice and that's why we're gonna get a death drop on the tower, that's pretty much how you want to play against Steel Bay. Just keep forms to countering his kegs and go for as many balloons as is possible. Right now, he's actually throwing a prediction spell, which is a very cute move, and I'm gonna give him a nice play because, well, he, he played nice, so why not? I'm gonna go for a digger, and unfortunately, my opponent's gonna catch it, so that's not gonna be the Perfect case scenario, but at the same time, it's not it's not bad. We're gonna get rid of this bomb girl. I don't think it's a bad play to do. We're gonna cycle another gunner since he's using poison in the fields. And yeah, we're gonna just go for that. And I think actually I'm gonna go for a balloon here. I'm gonna go for some phones and I'm gonna go for bullets as soon as it's humanly possible. And right now he will be forced to play a bomb tower. Very cool, I think it's even gonna get a hit, and yeah, it barely doesn't, so that was definitely a good call out of us. I'm gonna go for a gunner to counter this keg, and right now he's gonna get a very aggressive, so I'm gonna try to punish his greed. Hopefully I'm gonna succeed. Actually he's uh, making this game really close, I don't think that bullets were the best choice right now. Okay, he's gonna get a lock, which is very annoying, so I'm gonna just get rid of all of this nonsense. I'm gonna play phones on his phone keg, and right now it's pretty much a matter of who's gonna deal more chip damage. I'm gonna play bigger here, I'm gonna predict his phone horde, and I did, very cool stuff. I'm gonna predict his bomb girl at the bridge, and yeah, I think... I think that's gonna pretty much uh, conclude the game since he cannot out DPS me in any shape or form. So we're gonna just play phones here. We're gonna get this rolling. We're gonna play a bomb tower just for safety and that's gonna be GG. So pretty much the first lock won us the game. I probably should have played it uh, way better if I didn't have that, but yeah. The first lucky lock kind of gave me opportunity uh, for ma to make mistakes and kind of chill through this game number one. Very important thing to note is that pretty much any deck that contains buildings will be good against your balloon deck, so uh, that's why Steel Bait is pretty much uh, very effective, especially when they have Missile, because like Missile is just a perfect counter to a balloon in a way that uh, it's gonna just uh, require missile and any damage on a balloon and it uh, will just die so usually it's gonna be missile plus bomb girl but uh, many steel baits will just play a um, ice tiny because it's cheaper and uh, they uh, usually 
uh, I mean, usually won't be playing a, a balloon push into a bomb girl, so that's why it is. Okay, I'm gonna just kite this bomb skeleton. I don't think it was a greatest player play of all time because my gunner will walk into a bomb. But the bomb won't explode there, so it was perfectly fine. I think I'm gonna just let this gunner go normally. I would have gone in, but yeah, he's gonna just support his gunner, and I don't think that was um, necessarily the best uh, moment to go in anyway. Okay, these phones will distract the steel hammer, and steel hammer even will get an extra splash on my tower, so that wasn't. That wasn't too fortunate. He's gonna be playing Darkness. I'm gonna just play Bomb Tower just for safety. You know the drill. And we're gonna just uh, chill a bit in this matchup. He's gonna go for a Bomberman. I'm okay with uh, his Dark Knight jumping on my Bomb Tower since I'm gonna kite it with my Explorer anyway. This Bomber should die. Very cool. And right now, I think I'm gonna actually go for a Balloon because uh, I don't see a reason why not to. And we're gonna just to try to get some damage. Also, this anti-EQ um, placement of a building still pulls a balloon, which is like a huge nerf to a card. So basically, if your opponent has a building, it will he will just have a great time, except like your opponent also has to be a good player at the game because like th this guy actually knows about an anti-EQ position, but um He's lacking at the other departments of the game, so we're gonna go for another push, because why not? He's gonna actually get a jump here, I didn't expect that, so we're gonna play a bomb tower. And I think that's gonna pretty much conclude the game, because I don't see him uh, coming back to this anytime soon. I'm gonna just go for explorer and a balloon. Our pond calls us lucky, because he knows that we had a upper hand advantage in the knowledge that the balloon is actually a good deck to play in this meta. Fine, let's hop to the next game, shall we? And right now we're gonna face Shikolo, so who actually dropped below a thousand medals, which is pretty unfortunate for him. I don't remember if he's playing Cyclone, maybe he is, and that digger placement isn't cool, but either way, I think that, uh, like, the digger should definitely get a buff like jokes aside i know that i've promoted the joke myself nerf digger and stuff but yeah uh, i think digger needs a buff because it's just so easy to read i'm gonna go in because i don't see a reason why not to he used a spell and that's pretty much enough of a reason why should i go in and he's gonna actually get a perfect cleanup on that i don't think i'm gonna even get a death drop i think Actually playing Lightning on Piercing Archer wouldn't even be a mistake, but yeah, R right now I cannot pretty much correct my mistake, so I'm gonna just play Bomb Tower here against this Digger, uh, soak up some damage, and I'm gonna try to go for a counter play. If I remember correctly, he's playing a Goal, okay, he he's not playing a Ghost, he's gonna be playing a Footman Keg against that, so... Our game plan basically will revolve around going on the opposite lane because he's already having a advantage on my right hand side. So we're gonna go for explore in the back. We're gonna actually go for a balloon since he went for Dark Knight and I want this explorer to tank for my balloon. So that's why I've used this placement. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, get a lightning here and Hopefully I'm gonna get something going with my balloon and unfortunately I won't because he's having a very well placed a super devil and yeah that, that's gonna that's gonna suck a bit. I'm gonna protect this damage. I don't think he has a piercing archer in rotation yet. So yeah that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get my digger going. Since my explorer is tanky, I don't see a reason why it's a bad play, and definitely it is not a bad play. So I'm gonna play a balloon, just lone balloon, on the opposite side, force him to play anything for that. And I'm gonna play a bomb tower, because, uh, yeah, bomb tower is pretty darn good response against a dark knight. And right now I'm gonna just play bomb tower, I'm gonna chill a bit, and he's gonna actually get a very... Very good uh, poison, but not good enough because right now I'm gonna just go in with a balloon, and I think in this push he's just ought to. Okay, 
yeah, he, he's just out to die. Right now, I don't see him defend that because, yeah, I'm gonna just play lightning in a moment's notice. And that's gonna be a crap ton of damage. This Dark Knight will also be annoying on my tower, but it won't be taking it down, so yeah. That was a very fun game, number three, and we've beaten a very uh, competitive deck. He was having Dark Knight, which is basically not a good card against our deck. Uh, but he had uh, two air counters, which are very solid, Piercing Archer and uh, Super Devil, and he had a, a building, so... Uh, like you see, even it's uh, harder than against like decks that don't have building, it's absolutely still possible. So we're gonna get a game against Shikolo, so once again, and okay, he's gonna leave. So I'm not gonna just count it in a uh, game counter, so we're gonna still play two more games. Let's hop to the next one. And this time we're gonna get a Draken Lord, and he's gonna be having 10 medals, and hopefully he will grant us some content because that's what you're here for. So we're gonna be playing Explorer first play. That's everything standard so far. He's gonna actually go a bit aggressive off the bat. I'm gonna play Fonz against that, Bomb Tower against that, and hopefully that's gonna be a very clean defense. So it looks like my opponent is just playing default deck, but with a balloon, which is very interesting play, but I won't be uh, complaining about that because, well, you're allowed to pretty much use any deck you want, and uh, unfortunately my opponent will be playing Khan very low. I would even uh, dare to say too low, because my Balloon will now have a free rent on his tower, and yeah, that's a pretty much game-ending damage, because against this deck he's playing, I don't see myself ever losing a tower, unless he's playing Gunner, so... Maybe I underestimated our opponent, and he's actually playing some competent deck, but at the same time, the chances are low and are getting lower for him to win every single second that this uh, game goes on. I'm gonna get a perfect counter on this balloon. I don't even care about stopping Gunner. I I'd rather just save up mana and he's going very aggressively, so he's still believing in the comeback, I absolutely respect that, the spirit of a warrior, you definitely have to keep that if you want to ever become a very successful at pretty much anything, but in this game I was, uh, I was referring to Boomerina. That's a brave really good cannon because it's gonna pull my balloon away from his tower and into his archer so yeah that was a very nice defense out of my opponent i could have just uh, played a digger and continue my attack but i don't think it was necessary i still have time and it is him that kinda is on the clock and has to do something in this match in order not to lose so i'm gonna just play very comfortable plays that I'm sure I can pull off and I'm not gonna lose anytime soon, so I'm gonna just go for bullets. I kinda was late with this digger, but it doesn't really matter since digger still tanks for the viking tower and the tower comes down. Very cool stuff, I'm gonna go for a gun, he's actually right now panicking a bit, playing cards in an incorrect manner, so... I'm gonna use that opportunity and just push my advantage further. So that's gonna be a balloon on the Viking Tower and at the same time it's gonna be GG. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in uh, game number 5. And we're back in the game number 5 against Dapper. So Dapper is a very good uh, cycle player, which I have a lot of respect to. He's usually playing decks like Digger. Unfortunately, this Digger won't be retargeting though that was pretty unfortunate also we're gonna be having a very tough time against his piercing archer because well piercing archer sucks by default and it double sucks if you don't have a flying bomb so yeah we're gonna just be playing balloon i don't think that there's a reason that i have to hide the deck from him or something so i'm gonna just be playing that instead i'm gonna right now go for a digger just to tank for the balloon, basic stuff, and unfortunately I didn't get a tank in. That's very weird and unheard of, so I'm gonna just go for a gunner. I would love to get this gunner to the tower, but I don't think it's happening anytime soon, so I'm gonna just block this digger. I'm gonna try to predict his ever-living piercing... Okay, he's 
I'm not gonna be able to do so, so I'm gonna just play Explorer to kite everything here. And yeah, that, that's gonna be that's gonna be my situation from now on. I'm gonna be playing Bomb Tower just to destroy the piercing archer. Very uh, very nice placement if you can say so. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just go for another balloon since I don't have Okay, he's gonna go for even a poison on this balloon, so that was a very uh, it looks like that he's very respecting my uh, balloons in that manner and that's why I'm gonna just go for another digger and at this point I feel like uh, my balloons are just distracting him from the digger chip which we kinda has to ignore if he doesn't want to lose the tower instantly and at the same time yeah I'm, I'm just happy to take this digger chip so I'm gonna just play bomb tower it's a good rule of thumb if your opponent plays a piercing archer and a cyclone because I'm pretty sure he is playing indeed a cyclone uh, you should be just uh, playing uh, a things that you cannot get cyclone so I'm gonna play gunner very high up he's gonna get a poison on that so that's gonna suck a bit but like not, not too much I'm gonna I'm gonna get explore here and he's gonna get another font hut so font hut is uh, like the best counter to a the best counter to a uh, balloon period and that's why it's pretty annoying for me to face it because well it's just gonna be very tough for me to uh, ever get a good uh, attack with balloon I'm gonna play another balloon I'm gonna play right now some maneuvers I'm gonna play a digger and he's gonna actually oh he will miss it so I'm gonna get some digger chip once again but yeah he's just getting way more and I am afraid this one's gonna be an L because he's just having a, a very good situation unfortunately this is gonna splash and there was actually nothing I could do about it except like overspending but yeah you, you, you pretty much don't want to overspend in this matchup. He's gonna play another another phone hut and it's gonna be an anti-EQ position so it's gonna like double suck. Uh, I'm gonna play a uh, gunner here and right now I'm gonna just try to go for the second balloon and hopefully I'm gonna uh, get places. I'm gonna right now, okay. That's just very annoying because I'm just not getting any balloon damage in this game. He's just very cautious about it and yeah he's even playing phones on my gunner no tricks in sight and unfortunately that's gonna be an L but it kinda also proves the fact that this my deck of mine isn't invincible and unfortunately I was forced to reveal the lightning very early on I would love to keep it as a surprise for later because it would uh, make a change that I could have broke uh, dapper but yeah unfortunately I didn't and he kind of proved why his deck is hard countering my deck. Very well played and I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching it till the end and if you did make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more Boom Arena content in the future. I'm uploading every day at 6pm uh, UTC plus one and yeah just don't miss my uploads because it would me happy and hopefully you'll be happy because of that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.